so respected uh, director general nti prit national telecommunication institute for policy research innovation and training sri raju sinha sir uh, respected atul sinha sir uh, all other faculty members of nti prit my colleague and most important my dear uh, participants of this course i extend a warm welcome to all of you in this inaugural session of pyg certificate course uh, we have conceived and planned this uh, uh, course under our able guidance of able leadership and guidance of pg uh, nti prit sri raju sinha sir so it's my privilege to welcome sir in this session i also welcome uh, sri atul sinha sir and other colleague from nti prit and dop uh, sir just a moment sir we had received more than uh, 450 nominations for this course and we have uh, uh, actually selected around 260 261 out of this number sir so as all of us know that the 5g rollout in india is happening uh, we we say that it is fastest roll out in the world and as of now uh, we have almost 1.5 lakh 5g base station in our country uh, out of total about 7.5 lakh total base station which we have in our country so almost 20% of the base stations uh, they have uh, 5g base stations as of now so it's important uh, and the right time to start such a course uh, although it's a fourth batch of the 5g certificate course uh, sir we have 50 participants from uh, various units of department of telecom uh, including uh, c dot and also uh, some officers from other uh, central government ministries uh, including uh, mha uh, uh, rail tel uh, c dot iti and all so on behalf of nti prit i welcome uh, all of you to this course uh sir as we know that to actually roll out and uh, create use cases of 5g will require huge number of uh, skilled manpower uh, in the area of 5g and allied uh, services uh so telecom sector skill council uh, is one of the organization which takes care of skilling at mass level so nti prit along with nc vet sir you may be uh, remembering that uh, they have created the qualification file for various roles of uh, 5g skilling at lower level particularly so those are already approved by nc vet now it's a time we have to start training at mass level so telecom sector skill council has a, a, a big responsibility uh, coming forward so on request of telecom sector skill council and also on on instruction of secretary dot we have included about 22 master trainers from telecom sector skill council uh, who have joined this particular session so i welcome all the participants master trainers from telecom sector skill council sir as we know that our one of the unit of dot and ccs is working on creating ecosystem for uh, security testing of telecom gears which are being installed in our country so as we know that cyber security and security of telecom installations are very very important so they are playing a big role on that so on request of nccss we have included about 38 participants who are from uh, uh, telecom security testing labs the prospective tstl lab so we have 30 about 38 participants uh, that uh, they will be attending this course so i welcome on behalf of nti prit i welcome all of you to this course uh, sir as uh, you recall that based on nti prit led expert group recommendations aict has actually included uh, 5g courses in uh, uh, uz and pg uh, engineering institutes so that 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 has become part of the curriculum of aict so now these courses are to actually start in engineering college so as a pilot and on request of our maharashtra lsa 
who got a request from Maharashtra government. We have included about 50 professors and lecturers from various engineering institutes and other technical institutes of Maharashtra uh, uh, state. So I welcome all these 50 participants from uh, various engineering institutes of Maharashtra. That is a pilot, which kind of a pilot we are doing. Maybe uh, if request comes, we can perhaps uh, uh, in the next batch we can take from other state. Uh, sir, most important is like one of the public sector telecom companies, BSNL, our own company. And uh, as we know that BSNL would be installing uh, indigenous uh, 4G gears developed by CDOT and other indigenous company in our country. So they would also be rolling out 5G subsequently. So it's very important that their officials are also trained on uh, various aspects of 5G. Uh, so uh, we also requested BSNL to nominate and there was a huge nomination, almost 250 nomination which we received, but we could accommodate uh, about 100 participants from BSNL. Uh, uh, so we included everyone who is in the field of mobile, who are from training centers, either ALTTC or their journal training center or regional training center, and also uh, people from QA and all senior officials like we have PGMs also enrolled for BGMs, various levels. So we have tried to include all the senior officials and officials from training centers and those who are actually working in the field of mobile. So I welcome all the 100 participants from BSNL in this course and I also welcome all other participants. Uh, I might have missed taking the name because there are many other participants from central and state uh, uh, government. So I welcome every one of you. Uh, uh, so with this, uh, thank you so much and I hand it over to uh, Atul for further uh, uh, taking care of proceeding into this session.